So with gyms not really being an option anymore and wrestling being put on hold, I found that I'm starting to put on a little bit of this stay at home weight. So I decided to try out a water workout that I found from MMA superstar Boss Rutan. And this week, we're going to give it a shot. Let's do it. First things, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning in this pool. So everything's floating around, it's kinda nasty. You gotta do this every single day. There's always something landing on top or eating off the top of it or whatever. So, give it a little scrub. Set that down a little hard. You can get geared up with your little swim socks. Because bouncing back and forth in here will eat up your feet. We also got some resistance gloves for swimming, so this causes more drag in the water, gives you more resistance as you're doing workouts. Aquaman. This is MMA fighter, well I guess retired MMA fighter, Boss Rutan's 12 exercises, which I think 14 technically with the, uh, the legs exercise we're gonna do today. And we're gonna try doing his pool workout routine. So the first exercise is one he calls the swim, and it's basically, hands crossing over, pushing back, come in, push back. And then as you come back in, you swap up your hands. There'll be like five reps, 10 reps to do that. For a total, 25 repetitions. 25 repetitions. So you follow up the second exercise immediately after doing your swim, where you bring your arms the opposite. Bring them back in, behind you, up front. And all that. Working your shoulders, building resistance here. You keep your arms as straight as you can. Push all that water, bring them together. Third exercise in this is bicep tricep with your palms facing in. So essentially what you're doing is just go flat, flat, flat. And on this, you don't wanna focus on just pulling your hands up and working the bicep. When you go back down, you wanna push as much force as you got. Push it back out with those triceps too. So, and you do that. 25 repetitions. So the second set, the first one is bring your hands in and then push back. Bring them in and then push back. And this is basically working your shoulders and your back. And it's kind of like the, the cable flies that people do in the gym, but backwards. Just come in, push back, in, push back. Same thing, 25 reps. And then immediately go into your next exercise, which is the clap. Don't laugh. Don't laugh, it's actually clapping. Looking at you, Ed. Devon, I know y'all out there laughing at it. So, you're going, bring him in, clap him front. Bring him in, and he really stresses clapping when you're actually you know, underwater, try to get that to push as much water as possible. So bring him in, clap, hit it. Get that nice solid clap underwater. Y'all saw the make clap video, right? Make clap. No, not make clap. Y'all saw the just add a clap video. <laughs> the make a clap video is a different video. <laughs> Buster Rhymes.
third set. You start off with these kind of lateral raises where hands shoot behind you and then come up, come up. And you can kind of adjust if you bring them up and the front a little bit, works different parts of your shoulders. And yeah, it just depends on what feels good to you. And the faster you do it, the faster you push up, the more resistance you get, the more muscle you build on it. From that, you're doing your lateral raises, go straight into the push-ups, which y'all know push-ups, everybody knows push-ups, right? Show us push-ups. You've seen push-ups. Just, you know, just, just jump up here, you just kind of do this thing. Oh, oh. you kind of do, maybe you can do some of these if you want to do, or you can do like a little, little dolphin, because it's water time, you can clap like a dolphin. So you go into your push-ups, and you go immediately into, back into your biceps, triceps. Now he actually uses a water resistance, it looks like a dumbbell, but it's made of foam water resistance. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna stick with using the gloves, keep that palm open, do the same thing, a lot of resistance. The faster you move, more resistance you get. That's it. Do each of those, 25 repetitions. My paper blew away, here's my notes. My, my seaworthy notes, it's also a treasure map. Okay. What's the treasure? Huh? What's the treasure? Getting buff. Oh, added bonus. This, this is not just a style thing, no. If you have a shirt on and you jump out of the water and you start doing push-ups, this also adds weight. So when you don't have resistance in the water, you have resistance of the water outside of it. set he does before we get to legs is your front raise which it's kind of like your lateral bring your arms back and then bring them straight up in front of you I'm back straight up in front of you so again we're hitting those shoulders hitting your triceps a little bit keep your arms as straight as you can keep those palms wide and as fast as you do it more resistance more resistance and then you immediately go into as you come up you do the reverse and you push down bring your arms out push down as hard as you can, as fast as you can, push your arms all the way back. Now this does kind of throw you off in the water a little bit, it's kind of hard to keep your balance at first. So the alternate to this is one hand at a time, push back, and one hand out and push back. And this makes it a little easier to kind of stabilize yourself with your core, you push, 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 same thing, 25 repetitions of that, and you finish it off with your hammer curl. And again, he uses the, the foam dumbbell in it, but you can just kind of use the method of and this hammer curl is right here close to your body in and back and if you're pulling in as quick as you can working your chest working your bicep push back as hard as you can you're hitting that tricep button so do that 25 repetitions each side and bam you like majority of the way through this thing you already getting buff i ain't even gotta tell you you got this last is going in your legs and this is it's kind of like he uses it to improve his kicks because it's a 
high knee and then kick back. And I'll show you some of this in the water here. Raise your knee up, kick straight back. Keep your foot flat and kind of use it to scoop back up and raise your knee. And every time you keep your foot flat, point it down, you get more resistance as you kick through the water, working the front of your legs, working the quads and everything. As you kick, pull up, flatten your foot, push back. And then the bonus exercise that he gives you. And this, this was, he said, for all the tough guys who are like, oh, boss, I'm not quite tired yet. One minute of your high knees in the water. And that's just raising up as high as you can go, kick down as hard as you can. And just like pistons, like your legs are just firing back and forth. Basically, what we're going to do is take each of those subsets, three exercises, do the exercise 25 times. So, subset one, 25, 25, 25, 25, and then your legs 25, and then you go back in, you do that entire circuit four times. So, you got total 100 repetitions of every single exercise. Also, I want to point out it's important to keep in mind that even though you are sitting in a pool of water, you're going to get dehydrated. And don't drink the pool water. Don't drink the pool water. Don't pee in the pool water, it's gross. So you wanna keep a bottle of water with you. Stay hydrated, because honestly, it's a workout. It's a cardio, and you're gonna push, and you'll be glad you had it. And there you go. Boss Rutan's pool, extreme pool beast flex workout. And I'm gonna do this for, I'm gonna do this for the next 30 days for sure, because you know, I got a few events coming up, and I gotta, I gotta lose this uh, at home weight. We can call it at home weight, because otherwise, I get in trouble for saying everything else. Not gonna say it, YouTube. Don't even worry about it, YouTube. At home, wait. Everybody's at home. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, let's work out. It is a giant beetle. Get chickens. Attack. Huh. Definitely named it. The chickens will defend the pool. <laughs> I mean, you can pee in the bottle of water. I mean, if you're into that, I guess they sell that in some countries. You get a little, little pee water or something. I wouldn't recommend it.